Hi friends, I recently reviewed this Litport Air hydroponic system and my first impressions are really good with this system. Now I am starting my first experiment with it. This is not only a growing experiment but also an experiment to check the performance of the system. To test any hydroponic system, I always go with radishes because the radish bulb develops only in perfect conditions such as right amount of light, heat, nutrients, etc. If I can grow radishes and the radishes develop to at least a decent size, I can confidently say that the hydroponic system works for any leafy green vegetable, lettuce, herbs and even cherry tomatoes. The French breakfast radish has long been my favorite and it still holds that spot. However, I recently fell in love with this German joint radish. Both varieties mature in just 25 days and produce excellent radishes. It is very simple. I will place just two seeds in each pod and start with all 10 pods. I believe the 10 plants in this hydroponic system is going to be a little bit too much but let's figure it out. That's what an experiment is. So I'm going to test with all 10 pods. I'm going to keep only one plant per pod just to make sure I will have a good germination. I'm going with a little bit of backup. That's the reason I'm placing two seeds in each pod. But I'll, depending on the germination, I will thin out the seedlings and eventually keep only one plant per pod. I can also go with just one seed per pod and replace the seedlings if any of them give up but i lose a couple of days of time so i cannot risk the time but i can sacrifice a couple of uh, seeds or seedlings that's the reason i always go with uh, at least two seeds irrespective of what variety i am growing and how confident i am with the germination That's it. So easy to start this garden. I normally add uh, stickers on the pots, but uh, for radishes, I don't add any stickers because they grow really fast and the leaves will cover the light going onto the sponges. I don't see any algae issues with radishes. And I'm also scrape out the tops of the sponge as the radishes are developing. So I can just go with uh, no stickers. That's it. This garden is all set and uh, good to go. As always, I will add water, but I will not add the nutrition. I will start adding nutrition once I see the seedlings. That is one way to prevent algae developing on the sponges. Always delay the nutrition until you see the seedlings. The germination doesn't need any nutrition. Even if the seedlings need nutrition, they can take up the nutrition from the seed itself. That's it. This garden is all set and good to go. Let's see how this experiment is going to turn out. It's day five. The germination is excellent. I see pretty much all the seeds germinated. Actually, these seedlings were struggling to push their roots down. So I helped the seedlings a little bit. Basically, I opened the sponge and repositioned them deep inside the sponge. Basically, I opened the sponge. Basically, I slit it and uh, push the roots down that way I am able to reposition the seedlings inside the sponge. Now that I see the seedlings I will start adding a nutrition. I will use the AB nutrition that came with this system. Normally I am not a fan of this AB nutrition. I always go with a maxi grow or hero garden nutrients but uh, since this system came with this AB nutrition I am just going to use it. I want to use them one way or other so I will use them first and I will use it as recommended which is basically 5 ml of each nutrition for every one liter of water. I have the water up to three and a half liters so I will add uh, uh, 17 ml of each nutrition. It's day 24. 7 out of 10 plants showing a nice development of radishes. Look at these beautiful bulbs. They are looking very nice. Only 3 plants is not showing progress. 2 plants are at the very beginning. I don't have any hopes on this. Here is the second one. And unfortunately the third pod didn't have the seedling survived here. So I am going to pull this out and let these radishes grow. 
they're supposed to be much bigger at this point but definitely i don't see the development i am expecting i have grown the same variety in aero garden harvest and uh, they turned out much bigger than this on uh, day 24 so definitely these radishes are growing a little bit small here i don't know if it is something to do with this lead pot air or the ab nutrition so i'm going to rerun this experiment with uh, other nutrients like maxi grow or aero garden nutrients to see whether the issue is with this hydroponic system or the nutrients but it's not bad actually as i can see this nice development of bulbs already i can say i'm pretty confident on this uh, lead pot air but uh, definitely the results are not up to my expectations but generally if the radishes show nice development of bulb i can say the garden is pretty good pretty decent it has good specs i can say but i need to run one more experiment to get more satisfied <laughs> all right that is all for now thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video